Hi, welcome to sunnydaystamping.com. I'm Julie Baca and I'm so glad that you're here. We are making a super quick and easy gift card holder. You don't need a ton of supplies for this and you don't need a ton of time, which is gonna be perfect for making um, birthday uh, gift card holders, but also this is during the holiday season. So just if you need like last minute, quick and easy uh, gift card holders, this is perfect. I'm also gonna show you how to convert it just into a regular card um, and they're all quick and easy. I'm gonna show you how to also make a coordinating envelope, um, how to decorate the envelope so it coordinates perfectly. You don't need a ton of supplies. You're just going to need some patterned paper that's double-sided, one color of cardstock, and one color of ink. And you can uh, choose any of those that coordinate with the paper that you choose. Now I've got tips on how to cut your patterned paper so that we don't waste any. Um, I've figured it all out on how to cut it to make one piece for the envelope and the rest for the card with very little waste. So I hope that is helpful to you. Now, all of the measurements for this project are over on my website. There's a corresponding blog post that goes with this video and the link is in the description. So if you just click that, it'll take you over there where you can get all the measurements. You can see a complete list of supplies that I've used. Um, a lot of the holiday supplies that I'm using are on sale right now because it's um, the last chance product sale. A lot of that stuff is retiring so you can get some good deals on that um, but the other supplies too and if you need any help with anything please reach out leave me a comment I am happy to help so let's get started with this So here's our really simple card on the front, but then when you open it, you get this unexpected message on the inside, which I think that automatically makes your card more interesting. And then a place for a gift card. Uh, now you're gonna be able to change the look of this card just depending on your designer series paper. And I'm gonna show you, I made so many examples to show you at the end. Now for this, I'm going to be using the Circle Sayings. Um, and this is a bundle. And when you buy it together, the stamp and punch, you get 10% off, so that's great. But we need this Circle Punch to create this kind of like tab almost to open it. And I think that is just makes it so interesting and just a different way to use your punch. And I love having Having multiple ways to use one product. So I just want to show you real quick, you can use any stamp set to make the, um, the message on the inside. This I wanted to make a Christmas gift card holder. So um, you just use this same punch and you can use different uh, greetings on the inside. So to start out, you're going to pick a pack of patterned paper. <laughs> pattern paper um, and this is their this is Stampin' Up's double-sided paper all these pieces have a, an opposite side that coordinates all the colors coordinate and this makes it so easy so once you pick one now in here you're gonna pick one color to be your background or to be your card base and then you're gonna pick one color to be your uh, to stamp with so that is all you need you need one square of this and this is going to decorate your envelope too. Piece of uh, cardstock and one color of ink. Now you can add more colors of ink if you want, but this is all you need. And I love those kind of projects. So we're going to go ahead and do our stamping first. And we're going to go ahead and punch this out first. And then we'll go ahead and stamp on it. Now I'm just going to bring out my stamp and pierce mat. I like to stamp on this. Gives my uh, Just gives a little extra cush uh, to my stamping. And then we're just going to take one stamp and put it up near the top and then grab your paper trimmer. We're going to put this back in the paper trimmer. We're not going to trim it. We're going to score it, but we're going to kind of line this up and you can see where that is going to score. It's going to be in that trough and then you're going to score this. And now you're going to be able to clearly see, let me fold this, uh, where you need to stamp for the inside greeting of your card. I liked doing it this way because no matter, you know, you may not have this circle saying stamp set with the curved um, words. And so by stamping them first and then scoring, you're going to be able to use any stamp set um, to do this. So now on this score, now we're going to stamp for the inside. Now I'm just going to do sending you a thank you. 
And that's it. That's all the stamping you need to do. Option would be you could stamp on the what's going to be on the inside of your card, but not necessary, especially if you need to make a bunch of these. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna cut the card base and you're gonna cut your cardstock in half. So that's at five and a half. But now you'll note, um, and, and this'll be for another card, uh, we just need one. But you'll note on your project sheet, the card base is eight and a quarter. Normally this is eight and a half by five and a half. So make a note of that. This is my uh, project sheet. This goes out to my email subscribers on Friday morning. So make sure to check your email um, to download this project sheet. If you aren't on my email list, you, there's a link in the description so you can uh, sub sign up for that. It's free and I just email out once a week. So I'm not gonna spam you and you can <laughs> unsubscribe at any time. But um, also you don't have to uh, subscribe if you don't want to. All of these measurements are on my website, sunnydaystamping.com. Um, and there's a link in the description uh, that will click, <laughs> you can click it and take it over to the um, blog post for that. Whoa, so many words. Okay, so now this is five and a half by eight and a half. So we have to just uh, slice off a quarter inch strip for this uh, card to work. Um, you can make this card without taking this off, but your um, your designer series paper, you're not going to be able to decorate your envelope with one piece because it the measurements just did not work out. So that's why I um, trimmed that off and it's still going to fit perfectly in your envelope too. So now we're going to um, score this. We're going to score it at one and a quarter and five and a quarter. I'm having a problem. I don't know if this happens to you. At the bottom of your paper trimmer, there is a, see how there's like a, a notch? And that is so you can take out your paper trimmer, um, your scoring blades and your cutting blades to replace them. But sometimes this uh, came out. So I'm just putting this back in. There we go. Okay. So now we're gonna score this at one and a quarter and five and a quarter. I just wanted to show you a different way to score. Um, and this is perfect if you um, are making a bunch of these. This is definitely faster. This is the scoreboard because you can just go right here, one and a quarter, five and a quarter, and that's just faster than your paper trimmer. So if you're able to set these up um, beside each other, this is the faster option for making multiples. So now I'm gonna show you how to cut the designer series paper so that you can decorate that envelope. This comes in six by six. Some of your, um, the pattern paper can come in 12 by 12. In that case, you can just cut it down to six by six. But with your six inch piece in here, go ahead and cut it at two and a quarter inches. That is all you need to decorate your envelope. And I'll show you how to do that towards the end. Now you're gonna take this piece rotate it and cut it at five and a quarter. This is your only piece of scrap. Rotate this again and then line it up at the one inch on the right. Um, and so you have a one inch strip and the this is gonna be two and three quarters. So you don't even have to measure this, you just have to cut off the one inch strip. Now one thing to note, if your patterned if your paper has a pattern, flip it to the side that has the pattern um, and whatever way you want the stripes to go. So let's say I wanted my stripes to go this way on my card and on my envelope. And it was just easier for me to visualize which way I wanted this to go on my envelope. And then that's where you're going to cut it. You're gonna initially make your first cut for your envelope with the design in the orientation that you want it to go on your envelope, then it's gonna transfer perfectly over to your card. I hope I under explained that correctly. <laughs> All right, that is all you're gonna need with the exception of, I forgot to say at the beginning, you need some white to punch um, a circle out of and you need some white for the inside, but that is all you're gonna need. And one other thing I wanted to note while I'm <laughs> while I'm folding on these score lines, um, you, in order to figure out what colors are in your patterned paper, on the back, when you buy the patterned paper, they list all of the colors. So you don't even have to think, you don't even have to think about what colors to make your card. Stampin' Up! does all that um, hard work for you. And so that your 
your products turn out perfectly because it's all coordinated. And the colors that they put in the designer series paper are the exact same color as the cardstock and the exact same color as the inks or the markers or whatever. So everything turns out great. If you're kind of dissatisfied with how your product projects are turning out it might be because the colors are just a little bit off so it does make a difference and boy it is such a joy to <laughs> to put in the work for a card and have it turn out how it looks in your head so now we've got our designer series paper on the front and you can see I just flipped over the paper and it's perfectly coordinated um, this strip. You could also put the same design on uh, the front. You don't have to flip it over. Now before you glue this down for your gift card, insert your gift card. Um, this automatically is going to give your um, paper a little bit of depth to it so that you can insert um, the card um, you know, it'll be easy to get it in and out. So just put a little, oops, sorry, don't put the glue there. Put the glue right here and right here. And then just hold this down. Just hold it there for a while until you feel like it is stuck. If you're using the multi-purpose glue, you could also use tear and tape or some other adhesive too. So now grab your circle and you're going to um, figure out which way you're going to want it on your card. So like I want this to be on the front. So I'm going to make sure I put this. Listen, let, me, let me show you this. Okay. Put it like this. I'm going to put it like this on my craft sheet and put glue on it. Now I'm going to take my card, open it up. And this is where I, I want my circle to be on this end. So I'm just going to lay this down on top of my circle and fold it over and it's going to be perfectly lined up. That was just a tip. As I was making a bunch of these, I'm like, ooh, there's got to be an easier way. And this was the easier way for me. So that's it. That's the gift card holder part. Love it. So simple. Let me show you how to quickly make a um, decorative envelope. So you're going to take your envelope and where that score line is, you're going to put glue along that score line, not on the score line, just close to the score line on the flap. Make sure you get those, the rounded corners with some glue and glue there. And then you're going to line up your pattern paper right on that score line. I press it down and then I always like to pick it up and I check, is it overextending the envelope? Nope. Then I know I've got it in the right spot. And then I'm just going to take my bone folder like that. If you gooshed out at all uh, with glue, you're going to want to wake so you don't get glue all over your scissors, but then just flip it over and cut off the excess. And it's easy to cut it because you're just following the line of the envelope. And you can see I didn't do a perfect job there, but look, you fold it and it does not matter. You can't even tell. So here's our perfectly matching set. And I've got a bunch to show you from this designer series paper. So here's another one I made with that same piece of paper um, <laughs> because it was my favorite. Um, here, these are all from that Garden Walk designer series paper and they're all using the Circle Sayings stamp set which works just perfectly for this design. Now if you're needing a Christmas gift card or even a Christmas card, I'm going to show you how this is the joy of Christmas designer series paper. So you can open this up and instead of making it a gift card, cut yourself an extra slice of designer series paper to use for the inside of the card. So they just open it up kind of double like that. Lastly, I made a bunch of them using this Merry Bold and Bright designer series paper. This is so fun and so festive. It's very holiday, but there is a I mean, there are patterns in here that are not holiday. So if you, um, I, I love that. I love buying Christmas paper that I can then use throughout the year if I didn't use it all for the holiday. You know what I'm saying? So here are the examples. So we've got this set. I made this one just a Christmas card. Here's another Christmas card, not a gift card, where I just put that little strip of designer series paper there. So here are the gift card holder sets that you can just slide a gift card into. Look out, these so fun patterns. I just love them. 
I was looking for the envelope. So now this one, I used the leftovers from that. So there's just a lot of different stuff going on. And instead of stamping on the inside, I put a little piece of designer series paper there. And then lastly, this is from that same uh, designer series paper, but I made it a birthday card just like that. This one is using the, sorry, this one's using the circle sayings. And all of these, I just picked up the Christmas classic stamp set to stamp the front. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. You can also hit that subscribe button and hit notifications so you get notified every Thursday when I put out a video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a sunny day.